Hello and welcome to this week's Market Focus Fundamentals on 28th of November. Well, um, we've seen a, a big rally in the markets this morning and I'm sure most of you have seen from last week's uh, decline in the markets uh, somewhat in obviously with the with the DAX, the FTSE, the S&P and the Dow coming out to near enough bearish territories. Um, well, obviously was on the back of a somewhat very, very shortened week uh, in the States uh, due to Thanksgiving and, uh, and the traditional Black Friday. Uh, we had an early close on Friday, and it seems like uh, the Americans have been uh, spending their money uh, uh, in vast amounts uh, uh, on Friday's figures, and it's looking like the, the retail sales on Black Friday rose to their biggest margin since 2011. Uh, and they, they hit a, hit the record on online sales, which actually grew even faster than initial estimates. So, I mean, obviously, uh, the news coming out uh, uh, from America over over the weekend that that obviously the the, the sales season has well and truly started. And you know, the Americans have certainly gone out and uh, digging into their pockets and uh, getting their credit cards out. But um, obviously, the markets were very much oversold last week. We had a uh, Near enough, really, eight to nine uh, day session uh, decline in the markets. Uh, a lot of the indicators were pointing down, and we were, yeah, near enough uh, due a sort of a bounce. But, um, well, what a bounce! We're uh, we're well above 115 points on the on the FTSE here, and on the futures in the states, we're over well over 250 points on the, over there. So, you know, I think one really has to think about now in terms of all the negativity and all the bad news is it actually now priced into the market is the market immune to all these uh, european uh, uh, stories that that have been coming out in the last uh, few weeks and the last quarter as such and if so now maybe is the bias going towards more good news whereas uh, before you know the slightest bit of bad news was knocking the market out i know it's only one day i mean we're only one day into this week, and obviously we're going to have at least two, three days of uh, of this rally to see whether we can eat back into some of those declines we saw last week. Um, this week, obviously, we've got a full trading week now, and if I go into this week's calendar, see what we're expecting. Uh, well, if we start off with the UK here, the Chancellor George Osborne will announce the increased forecast for the government borrowing in Tuesday's autumn statement amid signs that a weak economy is hitting uh, public finances. And uh, the week will start off uh, with the CBI expected to report that a balance of uh, retailers say that the, the sales uh, have fell uh, year on year in November. And this survey has recently been more downbeat than official data, perhaps uh, because the latter tends to sample more smaller shops where sales have uh, held up uh, a lot better. But, you know, it's not just uh, consumers that have uh, that have been uh, depressed. Uh, uh, Tuesday's figures from the Bank of England are expected uh, to show... Uh, companies are continuing to pay off debt, which is a, a sign of reluctance, and uh, invest more than the current lack of availability to credit. Uh, and to cap all this, uh, Thursday's management uh, uh, purchases management survey will say that manufacturers have seen a recession in the last two months. While I'm sure most of you guys that are in business, uh, uh, that will come as no surprise. And the UK, of course, is not alone in this pain. In the Eurozone, the purchase managers will also report uh, a manufacturing recession. And official figures on Wednesday are expected to show that unemployment has risen in the region of 10.3% of the workforce. Well, if we head on over to the US... Uh, the bad news will centre around the housing market, and today, Monday, uh, Monday's figures uh, will show that um, sales of new home sales have risen about 10% in the last 12 months, but they're still only one third of the level seen at the peak of 2005 and 2006, making this the longest and the deepest decline since the record began in the 1960s. Right. On Tuesday, the S&P K shilling index will see that house prices uh, fell 4% in the last 12 months and are now one-third below the 2006 peak. 
Right, there may be a slightly bit of a, a bit of a better end to the week, whereby uh, we've got a, a report on the wider economy on Wednesday's Beige Book, and this is obviously a survey of regional economic conditions, and it comp- could point to a, a modest growth. And Thursday's Institute Supply Management Survey could show that that in contrast to the UK and Eurozone, manufacturing. Um, is growing in the US by only just, but you know, it's it's slightly better than forecast what we've seen over here in the UK. And obviously, towards the end of the week, uh, we we are anticipating a, a more cheerier note with the big non-farm payroll uh, data which is out. And um, obviously, this is the, the the data that most analysts and traders are looking uh, uh, in the month. And if we look at the non-farm payroll at the minute, we also obviously this can change throughout the trading week. But we're looking at a an increase of 100, 119,000 jobs as opposed to the 80 we saw previous months. Although we're seeing an unchanging uh, unemployment rate and um, and uh, the unemployment rate as such. So, you know, potentially we could see a, a good uh, good number here in the non-farm payrolls. And, you know, one point certainly bearing in mind is, has the market really now priced in all this uh, bad information and all the bad news that we've been seeing in the last few weeks? You know, we don't know what's going to come out, you know, out of Europe. But, you know, we, we saw that last week with the bond auctions and with the, with the problems in France, Germany as such. So, you know, maybe now the market might be emphasis, might be on, on the bull side. And, you know, we, if we talk about market uh, timing, we're now just uh, in the first few uh, uh, weeks left of 2011 and the last run up to old Christmas and the good old fashioned Santa rally might be apparent here now so uh, keep keep mindful now you know in previous years the market always liked to finish up off on, on a high and we've only relatively got uh, only a few weeks left in this year so we might be now looking towards uh, a more positive tone in the markets with that I'll leave you and uh, we'll speak next week thank you very much